Hey guys, welcome back to the next video and we will extend this conversation. So from the past two videos, I have been showing you first how you can create dual access and then how you can create this kind of a pie chart on top of the field map chart. So background of the field map chart represents the sales. The front end over here is basically, let me put control V. Uh, let me just click outside. Uh, pie chart basically represents the categories uh, and their relative profit. Now let's say if we want, uh, uh, now let's say if we want on this pie chart, I want to get the percentage of profit because generally that's where our interest is when we are showing the pie chart, then how we can do that. And this tip is basically uh, useful in other scenarios also because it's the uh, fixed uh, level of detail uh, cat fixed level of detail calculation example or the tip so how we can do that is simply by coming over here create calculated field um, first open the curly brackets and say fixed then say state category and based on that we need sum of sales sum of so why I need what I need is basically I'm taking the at the level of category I need uh, basically the sum of sales or maybe sum of profit based on what my need is I can just go ahead and change it to profit if this is what our dimension is over here oh sorry the measure is um, so yeah I need to put a comma all right so we have state we have category that's why I have used it over here but to get the percentage, we need to divide the category by the sum of state. Well, it's again simple, right? Because what we need is fixed again at the level of state and we need sum of profit. So what is going on over here is basically very simple. First, we are getting the sum of profit at the category level so first category is state one level down category is a category field and then we are getting the sum and then we have a higher level sum because we are just using the state so whatever is the sum of this entire pie is this and whatever the sum of this slice is basically this all right let's click apply um if I want to change, let's keep it calculation three for now. Just the example I'm showing. Um, I'll go ahead and change, put it on the detail. It will do nothing if you see. Uh, just uh, adding to this tooltip. But what I can do is uh, I can uh, I can basically go ahead and uh, based on what my needs are uh, in terms of uh, this profit percentage I can do that um, I can change uh, what my needs are I can do all that formatting and everything and all of this information if if it is not directly coming over here you know you can basically get it from from over here as part of the insert all right so for now let's click OK and uh, what we are getting is basically profit percentage and if you want to format you know that you can go in and format and you can say the percentage and based on decimal changes it will come to you properly. I was expecting this to come properly. So let's see why it is not coming. Let me go back it's automatic to click and after that you have thingy and uh, over here i think this is where we need to do a quick change just two percentages and yeah we have 49 percent so that's pretty quickly how you can so you can get these formatted but what i may mainly wanted to show you is this thing this is the fixed level of detail calculation initially it's little uh, difficult to understand but once you get used to of it which i just showed you that uh, if you have multiple categories or lower level of sum this is where i'm using it 
basically a slice of the pie and this is basically the entire pie wow that's cool you can get it so that's pretty much it uh, for you in this video and i will meet you in the new video the new topic but if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get these kind of videos directly in your inbox